Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, my brothers and sisters. Today I wanted to discuss um, a story of Iman Ahmed ibn Hanbal. When he was traveling and on his way to traveling, he stayed at a musalla because of all the rain and he wanted to continue his traveling the next day due to the heavy rain. One of the guards there that told me he had to leave and he just tried to plead with the guard telling him, please let me stay till the next day. I'll continue my traveling due to the bad weather. The guard refused and he threw him out. As um, Iman Ahmed ibn Hanbal was walking, he found a bakery. And he saw a man, he saw him in the rain, and he said, you know what, you can stay here for the night, you can seek refugee for the night, and tomorrow you can be on your way. As the man sitting, he's watching the baker, he's, he's kneading the dough with his hands, and he's saying, Astaghfirullah al-Azim, Astaghfirullah al-Azim, Astaghfirullah al-Azim. So the man asked him, what, what benefits do you get when you say Astaghfirullah al-Azim? He said, the one thing is I, I always get, SubhanAllah, is my dua, it gets answered, SubhanAllah, except one dua. One dua has not been answered. He said, what's that dua? He said, I have not met Iman Ahmed ibn Hanbal. SubhanAllah is what he said. He goes, Ya Allah, how he's brought me to you in the rain, and, he's, and I've been thrown out of Allah and Allah bring me to you. And this is all due to him, this man always saying Astaghfirullah al-Azim, Astaghfirullah al-Azim, Astaghfirullah al-Azim. The benefits of you saying Astaghfirullah al-Azim a hundred times a day, he has so much benefits. If you're making dua, if you're going through some hardships in life, say Astaghfirullah al-Azim. Continue your Astaghfar. And also, the, one of the best things to say also, and it's, what, it's very beloved to Allah, is Subhanallah bihamdi. Say that 100 times a day. There's a hadith in Bukhari that states if you say Subhanallah bihamdi 100 times a day, even if your sins were to reach the foam of the, 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 the water in the ocean, you'll be cleared. Subhanallah. And it's very beloved, this word Subhanallah bihamdi. Takes me five minutes. I'm driving from here right now to the Isha Salah right now. I can say Subhanallah bihamdi 100 times. So it's got a lot of benefits to it. Also, I wanted to mention one of the most the most du'a, the, the, the du'a the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say the most was Ya Muqallib Al-Qalub Thabbit Qalbi Ala Deenik Oh Allah, the change of hearts Keep my heart firm onto your religion This was the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and this was the du'a he used to make the most Ya Muqallib Al-Qalub Thabbit Qalbi Ala Deenik Oh Allah, change of hearts Keep my heart firm onto your deen. And this is the dua the Prophet used to make the most. So I urge you, my brothers and sisters, to remember that dua. To always make istighfar. No matter what you're going through in life, you're going through hardships, you, 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 you're making dua and you're in need of something, in need of children, wealth, no matter what that may be, keep saying astaghfirullah al-azim and inshallah Allah answers your dua. And always remember to say subhanallah bihamdi 100 times a day. Minimum was try to say it 100 times a day. And remember to always say istighfar. And insha'Allah you'll see the benefits, subhanAllah. And Allah will open doors that you never imagined, insha'Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.